Hi everyone, uh, my name is Laurie and I am the owner of the small business apparel. I sell cute dog collars and matching accessories and everything is all handmade by myself. Um, I've honestly been wanting to start off on YouTube for the longest time now and I thought the only way that I'm gonna do this is to actually just jump in and film something so here I am. I have a really busy week ahead of me. I have a market coming up this weekend. It's my second market ever. So I've got lots to get ready. So I thought, why not bring you along with me? Perfect opportunity. Depending on how I go throughout the week, I might even bring you with me on Saturday to my market. I guess we'll just see how I go this week with this whole vlogging thing. So today is Tuesday and I have all of my collars and leads cut out. They have been pressed as well. I just need to get into actually sewing them and I have some scrunchies and bows to make and a few other bits and pieces. I actually had my very first market like ever in May and it was actually a market specifically for dogs. I feel like it was just the perfect opportunity, you know, to get out there and show people my brand and show them my products and what I sell and it absolutely exceeded all my expectations like I was super excited I was super nervous and I just wasn't expecting how lovely you know not only the customers were but all the other store holders and everyone that I met on that day I ended up selling I think almost 50 items that day which absolutely blew me away I wasn't expecting that at all so I guess, you know, we'll see how I go this weekend as my second market. I'm sort of anticipating that maybe I won't do quite as well, given that this isn't, you know, a market for dogs like the last one was, but it is set to be a pretty big event. So I guess we'll see. So I took a little book with me to my last market and I basically just noted down all the things that I sold. So the design, the hardware, the size. Basically, I think today I'm just going to go through, remake all of the items that I've sold last time. Um, I just sort of figured that, you know, if it sold last time, then it's probably gonna sell again. Or, you know, like obviously it was a popular item. So I thought that's a good place to start. I still have heaps of stock from last time because I just went a little crazy and I sewed a lot for the last market because I didn't know what to expect. I think that's where I'll start today is just going through making some of these items from last time. I think the more markets that I do, I will sort of start to get the hang of what sells well, what doesn't, you know, what's worth taking and what's worth just leaving at home. So yeah, I'm just sort of figuring this out as I go. I feel like obviously the more that I do, the more experience that I get, um, the easier it will just become with time. So anyway, I'm gonna get stuck into sewing now. I might pop you on a little time lapse so you can see the process. Alright, so all my straps are sewn. Now it's time to cut all the threads off the ends and start stitching the labels on. Just enough there, you managed to sew it. Perfect. Alright. 
that's why I don't use it. So now I'm just writing down um, what hardware I need for, and for which design. Everyone. So it is Wednesday today. Last night I managed to get all my collar strips sewn up. Um, they have the label sewn on. So today I'm going to focus on sewing the hardware onto the straps and finishing off those collars and leashes. And then that's one thing ticked off my list for the market this weekend. This market is so much less stressful than the last one. The last market that I did, I decided less than two weeks before the actual event that I was going to do it. And like I had said yesterday, that was my first ever market. So it was a huge scramble, not only to get all the stock ready in time, I'm normally made to order. So, you know, I don't carry stock. Um, so I had to get absolutely everything sewn up. I didn't know how much I would need. I also needed to do things like order a gazebo. I didn't have one of those. Um, get tables, tablecloths all the other little bits and pieces that you sort of don't think of. There were lots of late nights staying up trying to get everything sewn and I just managed to get everything ready in time for that market. So I feel a lot less stressed this time. Everything's sort of under control. I have a few things that I need to make, but it's not, you know, a whole market worth this time. Sorry, the birds are just flying past in the afternoon. They're so noisy. So I'm a little bit nervous about lighting for this market. It's a twilight market, so it's running from 4 p.m. until 9 p.m. I'm not really sure what other stall holders normally do for lighting. I know that I need to supply lighting um, and I don't have a powered site. So obviously it's going to need to be either battery operated or solar. So I'll have to try and figure something out for that. I managed to find these LED rechargeable cam light from Kmart. I hope that this might do the job. It's 1000 lumens. I bought two of them because it says it's got two hours battery operating time. So I'm thinking I won't need it from four. So even what, five till seven and then another one, seven till nine. So hopefully that'll get me through the night. I guess we'll see. I'm hoping that they'll be bright enough. I might have to test it out tonight once it gets dark and see how much it sort of lights this room up. So this is the light. You can either have two individual lights or you can join them together in the middle and it makes one big bright light. They've got these little hooks on either end. So I'm hoping that maybe I can just sort of hang that from the top of the gazebo and act as a little light over my stock. Whoa, that's really bright. <laughs> Hopefully, oh, <laughs> Hopefully, that will light up my stock. That is so bright. There's just something so satisfying about this, seeing them all lined up in the range of colors. So pretty. I have all my hardware lined up and ready to go. 
Let's get him sewing. I think I'll have to look into maybe getting some of the bigger reels or spools of this Goodman thread. I absolutely love the thread and I always try and match my threads to, you know, to the product so that it, you know, I don't know, I just feel like it gives a higher quality finish having a nice matching thread rather than just a black or white but um it runs out so fast especially these little spools like that's only 100 meters and that doesn't get me very far especially when i'm sewing things like leashes it takes a lot of thread so um i don't know maybe i'll have to look into getting some of the biggest spools especially for my popular colors and that is the first color Done. And so I do a few passes with the stitches, especially on this part, because I want it to be nice and durable. And that's where a lot of the tension is. You know, that's if you're walking dog, um, you know, you've got the clip on here, so I want that to be really nice and strong there. makes me feel nostalgic it's like one of the very first or even maybe the first design um, fabric that I used when I was you know just had my brand as a concept before I had even you know told people about it or put it out there when I just gave it a go yeah this was the first fabric that's so cute I love it
So, collars and leads are all done. Hey everyone, it is Thursday today. Last night I managed to get all of my collars and leads completely sewn up. They are behind me there. And I'm so happy with how they all turned out. On today's to-do list, I am going to make my bow ties and sailor's bows, and I think I'll get stuck into the scrunchies too. This market is hosted by Old Gibbs Town, and I'm really excited about that because they hosted my first market as well. I think they're under new management now, and it seems like they're actually sort of bringing the park back to life again. They're hosting lots of events by the look of it coming up. If you're not sure what Old Gipps Town is, basically it is a park full of all historical buildings from the 18 and 1900s. So when they run these markets, basically all the stalls are scattered amongst the old historical buildings. And given that it's going to be a twilight market, I think it's going to be so pretty. I read that there was going to be about 80 stalls there on Saturday night, so it's going to be a pretty big event. I hope that I have enough stock. Um, the last market that I did was literally like half the size of that, so it'll be really interesting, but I'm excited. It'll be good. So last week I was trying to figure out what I could do to make my marquee look a little bit more branded. Um, I wanted to have more of my brand's colours throughout it, so the blues and the oranges and the whites. And I made this bunting. There is a lot of it here. I have two of these that are like three metres long each. They were super easy to make and um, it only cost me about $6. And I think what I'm gonna do with them is I'm gonna string them up across the side of my marquee just to sort of bring a little bit of my brand's colors to the store. I might talk in maybe another video about how I made it and show you. Another thing that I did to add a little bit more personality to my store is I made this little photo board. full of pictures of all my adorable customers that people have sent me on Instagram and Facebook. So if you or your pet has any pictures in their apparel, please send them my way so that I can include them here. So I'm going to get stuck into sewing now. I don't have too many scrunchies to make, so I think that's where I'm gonna start. So I might pop you on another time-lapse. is one of my favorite sounds. So I just got an order from Jasmine. Thank you, Jasmine. Um, I always wonder if you're buying something from me and you see this, can you please leave a note in the checkout how you found me? I'm always so curious. Thank you though.
I'm just gonna go through now and update my inventory on my Shopify. Obviously I had to use a lot of the hardware yesterday to sew up the columns and leads, so I just need to update my website so that that's up to date. So this fabric here, which is our autumn leaves print, um, I did have the leashes marked as sold out only because I didn't have much fabric left and it's actually gone on clearance at Spotlight. Um, but I managed to track some down. So I think I will put that back on as available since I should have enough to do some leashes. Perfect. All right, so stock on Shopify is now all up to date. I'm back again so it is Friday and tomorrow is market day I'm so excited I haven't got much left to get ready now I really just need to make a couple of bow ties a few sailors bows and some earrings I'm actually so excited for tomorrow night I feel like now that it's only 24 hours away um, I'm just yeah I'm getting really really excited I feel like nerves have gone out the window and I'm just so keen to start getting set up and to start you know chatting with customers and making sales and yeah i'm hoping that i might be able to film a little bit of footage tomorrow too maybe just some little shots of me setting up my stall and hopefully maybe if i get a chance just a little look around the market and see what other stalls are there the earrings that i make are a very new item i released them at my first market in may and i actually haven't put them up on the website yet i need to get around to making some more and taking some photos so that i can get them listed on there for people to purchase online if they can't make it to a market but they sold really well and they're really cute and i really love the idea of the earrings because i use them for my scraps i thought for ages about what was a product i could make that you know, used up those scraps because quite often I am left with just little bits and pieces of fabric. So these earrings are perfect. They use up just a little bit of the fabric and it, yeah, definitely cuts down on my wastage. I'm just sitting here looking at the items and just like, look how cute this is. Such a cute little matching set. I love this one. So that's sparkling. It just catches the light. It's so pretty, but yeah, it's so cute. So I have this little drawer in my cutting table here and this is where I sort of keep all of my fabric scraps. These are all scraps that are either, you know, too small to use for other products, um, but big enough that like, I don't want to throw it out because you know, that's a lot of waste. So this is at the moment what I am using to make my earrings out of and if you happen to have any other product ideas that I can use for little small scraps, let me know in the comments below.
I think I might have said it earlier, I brought these earrings out at my first market and um, I sort of realized that I needed a bit of a smaller size as well because I had heaps of kids coming up and looking at them and they were like fascinated by all the prints and the colors, but they're just not really kid friendly sizing. So um, I ordered a smaller kit. So this will be the first one I'm making up. We'll see how it goes. So cute. But like, I guess not even for kids, like some people don't want to wear huge earrings. These make cute little studs. So I just checked out Old Gipstown's Facebook page and they said they have now got over 90 stalls going to be there tomorrow night and 12 food trucks. So I think it's going to be a huge event. Um, let's hope I've got enough stock. This is everything I've made up so far um, and I've got a lot more from the last market. So fingers crossed. We're on our way to the market. So it's now after the market and all I can say is just wow, what an amazing experience. It was such an incredible night. I had so much fun. There were so many people, it was so busy, it was so packed, so many stalls. It was just really overall an amazing experience and the support that I received from everybody there was just incredible. I had so many customers come past and so many new people that haven't heard of my brand before. I had people repeat customers. Um, people that I know, friends and family and colleagues that showed up to support me. So it was really, really nice to see everyone there. And like I said, it, all, all I can say is wow, it was really, truly an amazing night. I really didn't actually get to film much on Saturday because I pretty much from the moment I got there, I set up and customers were in the gate. It was flat out. I didn't really have a moment to stop and slow down, it was just go, go, go. Serving customers all night, chatting with customers, um, seeing all the cute dogs that people brought with them. I love that Old Gibbstown is a dog friendly park because it just makes me so happy getting to see all these little puppies and big dogs and so cute. I think I might have mentioned at the start of the week that I wasn't sure what to expect. I didn't think that I was going to do as well as my last market because that market was specifically for dogs and this wasn't, but, Good news, I sold 
way more than I did last time. I managed to sell 70 products on Saturday. Within the first two and a half hours, I had already hit my sales from the previous market, which was insane. I didn't believe it when my husband told me that I had already hit that mark. And then from there, I ended up making 160% of what I made last time. I was absolutely blown away. Unfortunately, about quarter past eight, it did start to rain a little bit, so it really died off. Everyone had left, and about 8.30, we started to pack up half an hour early because, yeah, it was just really, really quiet, so it wasn't worth sticking around in the rain for. But still, I'm just, I'm blown away. I'm so, so happy and so grateful, and I'm so excited to do more markets. I think I've caught the market bug now. I'm gonna be wanting to do one every single weekend. So I guess this is the end of my market vlog here, my first ever YouTube video as well. I've actually really enjoyed filming this week. It's kept me accountable. I've sort of made sure that I'm keeping on track. I'm making plans. I'm sticking to my plans because I'm filming a little bit each day. So yeah, it's been really fun. I've really enjoyed it. I've just edited up most of the footage and I'm actually really happy with how it's turned out considering this is my first ever video. I have heaps of content ideas planned based around small business and sewing in general. So if you liked this one, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like, and I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye.